I have a feeling that this is going to be a more grindy stream because we just made it to Giant Land. Okay. And those flippy dudes suck. Mm-hmm. And I'm just not killing them fast enough yet. Okay. Which tells you a lot about the area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm trying to accomplish today. Okay. I brought the monster energy drink over here. Okay. I was seeing how many sugars they had in it. 54 grams. Yeah, yeah, this is... Of sugar. One uh, gram. Yep. Of sugar. And 110 grams of caffeine. All right. So yeah, we killed that fire guy. Uh huh. And we went over here. I'm really surprised that there's no uh bonfire here. In the middle of the bridge. Yeah. Why would there be? It just seems like it would be. Oh. Um, but I guess. You're right there. Right there. Yeah. Well, let's head this way. Right there. Um, partially because maybe uh, a seed there or a tree. Yeah. But then also the telescope thing is over in that direction too. Right. Uh, just a peaceful ride through. I don't know what this, what's this area called. That's a good. Question. Like I know it's it's giant land. Oh, hello. But, you know, what is it actually called? Do you hear me? Oh. It is I, Latena. Latena! Hey, girl. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It ah. to the land of the Halic Tree. Okay. Wait, Latana is... She's the wolf lady. The lady that had the wolf that died. Yeah, okay, okay. That, and then she, like, willingly became a spirit to travel with you to here. Yeah, yeah. I think she wants to get to the Halig tree. Halig tree? However you say it. big sword. Yep. So, I watched some more lore videos. Yeah, I saw when I came in that you had some queued up. Uh, as I'm sure is a surprise to no one. And one of the lore videos that I watched talked about Morgoth and Mo. Okay. Because they're twins. Um, and Moog is the Lord of Blood one. Yeah, yeah. And Morgoth is the one whose sword you're using. Yep. The, oh, god. He, I think he calls himself Morgoth the Golden or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He's, they're both of the Golden lineage, but... And they're brothers to Godfrey, yep. the first demigod that died. But they, like, look all messed up, and it's because they were born with a curse. Okay. And I thought it was interesting, so the story with them is that Morgoth was born with the cur- and they, they were both kept underground, underneath the city, because they were born with this curse. Even though they were- like you're too ugly to be seen by polite society. <laughs> even though they were- even though they were demigods, they were shunned and kept underground, hidden away, because they- because they were cursed and they didn't want anyone to know that, like, people from the gold lineage were cursed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Morgoth was, like, after the shattering, they both got out, obviously, because nobody was really there to keep them under wraps anymore. And Morgoth was, like, ashamed of the fact that he was cursed, and so he tries to, like, uphold the Golden Order, even though that's what shunned him. Yeah, yeah. And kept him trapped. And so his thing was, like, he has the curse, but he doesn't really look messed up, and his magic is still, like, the magic of the Golden Order. And it's because he funnels his curse power into his sword, so it doesn't affect, like, his, his physical, physical or his, like, magical appearances. And then 
Mo, his twin, was the opposite, where, like, he was cursed, and he, like, hated that he was shunned because he was cursed, so he, like, embraced his curse, curse and, and went like, full blood. Yeah, took power from his cursed blood and made a pact with an outer god because of that. And so he's, like, doing his own thing. A different outer god than the Earth Tree A outer different god. outer god. There's multiple outer gods. Oh, yeah, gods. yeah. Yeah, she is, she's called the Formless Mother, I think, was what they called okay. her in it. And you know that because when you beat Moog, you get spells that say, like, you, you reach into the Formless Mother or something and use her abilities. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought they had a cool, like, storyline. But I think the most interesting character that I watched the lore video on was, uh, Nicola. But honestly, I would rewatch the lore video with you if you wanted. Which one's Nicola? Uh, it is Melania's twin. Nicola. You don't actually fight him. Moog has him in an egg in his palace. <laughs> okay. Has them, I guess, in the egg. Because it seems like... Mikola is more gender fluid than the other ones. Like, they might switch between. Okay. And, just because we had talked about it before, something interesting in regards to Mikola is, you know how I was like, there's like the Mikola lily and then there's like the Trina lily? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, who's Tr who's Saint Trina? People speculate that Saint Trina is the feminine form of Mikola. Mikola is the male form, and Saint okay. Trina is the female form. So... Um, I don't know, again, these are lore videos where I think, like, the guy had a lot of evidence from the games to back up his, like, yeah. theories, but we're still, like, uncovering, it's, like, it's, all the stuff. It's still too early, and we don't have DLC yet, which I'm, will contradict stuff that people All I'm saying it. is, he convinced me. He, I, it was an hour-long lore video, and I was convinced. <laughs> alive? You're alive? Once these guys get staggered, they're so fucked. I do like 8,000 damage on my stagger. Yeah. Luna? Watch his HP melt. Uh-oh. There's Maybe. a rock in the way. You're lucky. Uh-oh, here he goes. Breathing fire. They do that attack so infrequently, I forget they can do it. Yeah. Luna, you look so happy right now. She's like, She was yeah. really vibing with me under the blanket. She she missed us today, I guess. Ready? Oh. 8,700 damage. Nice. Get him. Oh, no. I mean, he has zero HP. Yeah. Uh oh. But he gets iframes when he's standing up, which I find very, very annoying. Yeah. Sir, can you just, like, back up, please? One more. There you go. God damn. I would like another bonfire, please. So, yeah, so the outer beings that we know about, right, is like the Elden whatever, which is like the, the Elden envoy beast. of the Two yeah. Fingers. Yeah. Well, the Two Fingers it's are like... also just messengers of some, some outer god, but they're yeah. all related to the same one, right? And then there's the Three Fingers, which is the god of frenzy oh. and chaos. And then there's the formless mother mm -hmm. who's like <laughs> who's like the blood the blood god one um i think there's more but i can't i can't remember them right now yeah i mean like a part of me really wants them to come out with like a pantheon book right but uh, parts of me are like, keep it mysterious forever. Keep it a secret. I mean, I don't think they ever came out with anything like that no, for the other no. games. Yeah. They might like when they've like finished making all of their games. Yeah. 
I'm sure Miyazaki has it, like, written out somewhere, and then he's like, don't release this information until I die. Yeah. And then nobody can ask me for clarification on anything. Like, yeah, I'm just they're gonna all die, me alone. And they're just gonna have to d- deal with what I left, and that's it. That's all that they can do. Okay, so that's pro- definitely a spell slot area. You can get a... Yeah. Oh, I remember NL being here. I think you're about to fight a dragon. When you walk into that big open area, I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. There's a staff here, so... Yeah. Wait, did this examine? Oh, that's for... that's the summoning pool one. Might as well summon. Well, have it available. <laughs> Sorry, Luna, I just sneezed on you. <laughs> My allergies have been so bad lately. Yeah. Jellyfish, jellyfish, where are you doing? Oh, snowy. Yep. Oh. Get out here, buddy. Alright, keep up, Mimic. I don't know where this guy is. Gotta run around and look for him. This might also be the area where you can, like, return that jellyfish to, like, their sister or something. Oh, yeah, that's a weird quest. I think it's I think it's somewhere around here. Obviously, look at all these jellyfish. Like, I remember I feel like... and I was annoyed here because you, you can't see anything. Yeah, I think it's the dragon that's causing yeah. it to be like that. And if you beat them, then it won't. Because they're literally called Borealis, the Freezing Fog. Hello? <laughs> you just see my mimic? He's just running around. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. Alright. Don't, don't hurt the jellyfish. Now, this is a tough dragon. That's why I'm hoping I can just keep it distracted and the Mimic can just run up and slap it a bunch. Where is your Mimic? Oh, there he is. He's slowly walking up! There he goes. Yep. And this is a huge open area to fight a dragon in, too, so... Well, I think it's because he does the fucking storm thing and they're just like, mm. What are you gonna do if you can't see him? I have noticed it kind of looks like all the dragons are blind. And I don't like so the crystal ones have like crystals where their eyes would be. This oh, one looks like his. I just eyes. got bleed on him. To <laughs> the mimic. He's just like, fight me. Okay, your mimic's almost done for. Oh, oh no. Okay, Torrent took most of that. You're fine. Oh, no. You're fine. I'm just trying to stay aggressive because now I know he can bleed. Yeah. The sound. <laughs> I didn't know he could. Well, I mean, I knew he could do a tail whip. Yeah. But I didn't expect it. Your mimic. Oh, he's still trying to fight your mimic, even though they're dead. Luna, you're making my legs fall so they're so heavy, but you're so chill right now. Sorry, Luna. I gotta. I gotta stretch out. Ah! I hate that his steps cause Free, frost, frost damage. Yeah. But like, yeah, it looks like this dragon is like missing his eyes too, or like has like ice or frost Jesus or something. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a strong freaking dragon. He just- I had full HP and he didn't even attack me with his attacks. Yeah. I mean, like you said, this might be a grindy. Like, grind us to the level. Honestly, we should have done that off stream. 
Just ground out some levels for you. Alright, let's go get those back. And then we're fine. We'll explore this area a little bit. You can come back up here, Luna. I'm just not sitting crisscross applesauce like you like. Applesauce crisscross. Okay. Cause like, alright, we did about the quarter of his HP and it took a it took a while. Yeah. But the main problem is just like you're just whittling away at him for so long. Yeah. There he is. Leave me alone, you stinky dragon. Now it's following you. Oh dear. Okay. I mean, the snow definitely makes it, uh, okay, there you go. Hard to see. Alright. But. So. When we're going across the lake, we're going this way. So let's go this way. Okay. That's probably where Latenda wants you to go anyway. Yeah. I feel like. Oh. Oh wait, that's the side of her issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, like, I feel like this is just the stream to figure out to orient ourselves for later. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so fast. I mean, I think he's like the tough ones of the undead variety. Oh, he's got a friend. It's actually harder to fight you guys on the horse. It is, for sure. Oh, oh they're both pretty tanky. Well, this sucks. A little snake coming by. Oh my god, how did that not connect? I mean, if you... Oh, wait for you to... this plateau where you can go where like I even know where there's like I, I don't think you've been to that mine oh uh, there's like a couple mines or like crypts you could go to where it would be like you could fight some people that are more your level if you want yeah I mean it's like mostly I need to level up and I need to uh level up my weapon did you uh fight the tibia mariner in the altus plateau I can't remember if you I don't think so because he he's like an easier boss, I guess, of that area, that if you wanted to try and do that. He's like... I think, uh... I think he's at those ruins? These ones? Okay. Oh, no, wait. Those are the rifle ruins. Hold on. Look at this. Is he, like... Oh, he's over here. I think. Yeah, Luna. Is that the Altus Plateau? Um, well, I mean, this is like Volcano Manor. The Altus Plateau is like over here. I don't know how you get over there. Well, I guess you can... Uh, yeah, I think if you like started there, you could like go back. There's also some camps in between here that yeah. might be worthwhile like looking into. Luna, Luna, come here. Come sit in the chair. Uh oh, this one's gonna do it. Sit in the chair. Oh, big floofa. Hold on. You didn't go there of your own volition, so you'll only get two treats, and then you can keep them up. You'll get some treats too. Just because I don't want you to steal from Luna.
Because, like, to get there, I probably have to go... Um, okay, wait. You fought... What's this? You uh, you go to the magma worm one? Because I think you didn't explore over here. There's some stuff over there, too, that you can do. And then you can go up this path here to get over there, you know? Yeah. Not really, but okay. I mean, you don't... You could also just keep being in the ice area. Like, you don't have to go here. But... If you wanted I have some, no idea where I am. I don't remember this at all. Uh, not that way. Go the other way. I'll just go do uh the uh Morgoth fight. But as a summon, they get 120,000 runes every time. Yeah? Still just looks dope. Yeah, the sword? Yep. some areas where you could like easily rune farm. Yeah. I mean honestly maybe like the city itself. Yeah. Because you like killing things in the city they're usually worth a lot of runes. Those fucking knights though just I hate They're them. so annoying. Honestly what you could do is just the initial area with the duty guys. Just kill all the duke guys and then kill that one Got fire breathing it. guy because he's worth like 3,000 runes on his own. And then just do it again. Like, keep going through that area. These guys are worth a thousand each. And there's a few of them over here. Oh! Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then these guys, the ogres, are actually... They were in the... Huh? Your mom. They were in the video um, about... Morgoth and Moog, where the they're actually um, they were children that were born also with the curse that Morgoth and Moog have, Ow. but they weren't royal blood, and they used to cut the horns off of them that would grow out of the cursed people. Yeah, because it was like they they didn't want people to have them, but since Morgoth and Moog were like royalty, they were allowed to like grow theirs out. So. Okay. So, so if you want to keep going straight, just get ready. I don't know. <laughs> but there is also an area to the left. No, oh, no. <laughs> You don't have to... This dragon runs away after you do some damage to it, but it still is an ancient dragon, so... Yeah, this is the one that's in the... I, I think, think the, this is a different... Or is it the same one? Land CX? I think it's a different I one. I do think it's a different one. Because I think that one's a lich one, and this one is just a normal. God. Yeah, the ancient dragons. They're nothing to mess with. I don't even remember if I killed him yet. Honestly, I might not have. Because you have to chase, you have to figure out where he goes and then you gotta find him. And yeah, yeah, I remember I think, you, I think you saw me trying to fight him one time. I think I died. I remember NL killing him. 
I just want him to run away. Though. Yeah. It, it doesn't take as much as the other one. Honestly, you might have almost had him there, but you just need to live through that last attack he did. Electricity like keeps doing damage, so I don't know what there he you're is. doing. Oh, he's leaving. He's gone. Yeah. Good job, buddy. So that's it. That's it for now. Yeah. And then we find him again. But unfortunately, you don't get any rooms from that, though. Yeah, but now I can so. walk around here without being annoyed. Yeah. Go. How dare you? How dare he hurt that dog, Luna? Give me your bones. Give me your bones. I was like, I think there is there's a side of grace right there. I meant to grab that. <laughs> Harass these guys. <laughs> Thanks for the row of fruit. A useless item. I mean, you're supposed to use the row for the heal corner, right? Yeah, you are. You make uh, the raisins with it, and then you can feed it to him while you're on. Oops. Harmony! Hi, Harmony! Oh, and the new emotes! Ooh, I like that one. A little donut action. What's up, Harmony? Happy Saturday. Yeah. Blast. Nice. Alright. Still a little bummed from yesterday. So Ian was telling me, like, about your, your date, right? I'm assuming that's what you're referring to. So this is the mine I was talking about. You haven't been there. Um, but it's, like, down in that... So there's, like, the central area, and it's down into... So. Yeah, I mean, like, Harmony was saying he's nice, but he has, like, some personal issues. Mm. And then, like, I think the phrase Harmony uses is he didn't spark my mind palace. That, hey, you know what? That's fair But enough. that's, like, yeah, like, completely fair. Yeah, I get that. You should be like, if you want to date me, you have to be more interesting. <laughs> Damn. I, that would hurt if somebody I know. said that to me. I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> Although there were a few guys that I felt like I needed to hear that when I used to go out on dates. He didn't think he was gonna have a good time. Oh, unless he was drinking. Yeah, mm. I gotcha. How, what, how was the movie? Did you did you like? Oh, the Harmony movie? loved the movie. You, did, you didn't movie? see the art Harmony did. I don't think so. Is was it on Instagram? They, I'm not they, on Instagram. They drew bagel. I mean, yeah. They drew bagel lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the movie was so good. I liked it uh, a lot. Maybe. There's a couple of giants around here too, so just be careful. I don't know where they are exactly, but they're up here somewhere, so. Oh no! He cornered you! Well, I'm sad that it, like, didn't go well, but at least, you know, I, I think it's always better in those situations to at that least try know, it and yeah. know that it was like. Oh god! Everything big lesbian queen was awesome. I know, it was so good. I posted my uh, video TikTok about that movie. Oh, this yeah. This morning. I loved, I was like, the, it, that movie had like everything. It had everything. Because I was like dying, laughing, and then like 
five minutes later, I was like bawling my eyes out because like somebody was saying something so heartfelt. Just got home, gonna take a look soon. Yeah, no rush. It's five minutes long, so it's not like super long, but it is a little bit of a commitment. Yeah. Also, I've got lots of cute pictures of Ronnie to show you. Harmony! Ah! He was taking a lot of pictures of me today. We went to the museum. We had a museum date day. Since when can they do that? <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. You know what? I freaking love Jamie Lee Curtis, so that's fine. I know, Jamie And honestly, Lee I think I literally said something like when it showed her sitting at the desk, I was like, that's me at work. <laughs> like, yeah, like I think I literally said, I was like, that's me when I'm at work. Because <laughs> I, I think. I think she, Jamie Lee Curtis, is my third favorite final girl. Mm. I do, I love her. Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street will forever be my first. Okay. Um, and then Ridley from Alien. Oh yeah, I love Ridley. And then Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm. Yeah. All good, all good final girl choices in my opinion. There, there's the other one. But hey, these guys are probably worth good runes for you, right? So yeah, I'm actually too hard. mainly annoyed at his ability to shoot. Oh, the shout attack yeah. they do. They have like the dragonborn. Don't he hey, Bob. Bob. Come in. But yeah, Ian and I went to the uh, high museum today. Yeah, and we they had. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We we went because there was a, an exhibit about a Hungarian photographer that Ian wanted to go to. But they had this exhibit called... What was it called? It was like, What's Left Behind in Love or something yeah, like yeah. that. But they had this really cool exhibit in it where you could grab these like pulse sensors and it would record your pulse and then the whole ceiling of the room had all these like light bulbs in it. And then it recorded your pulse and put it in like the most recent light bulb, and then all the light bulbs had like the pulses of everybody that had come to the exhibit. And it was it was really cool. Um, taught you how to play pool, which is cute. But after he had a conversation about drinking and how I don't do it, he was on his phone making plans to drink with people after the movie. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that sucks. And I I don't know like. I mean, I get it. I don't need to be drinking to go out, though. Yeah, like, I mean, I enjoy it, but it's not like it's the best, like, the most important part. Like, of it wouldn't be like if somebody was like, "Hey, let's go do a movie," and if I was like, "Yeah," and then we could like go to a bar and get some drinks after. They were like, "Oh, like I don't really drink." I wouldn't be like, "Oh, well, this has ruined the entire day for me." So now I need to like yeah. make plans. I mean, I'd be like, oh, "Okay, we could just get food somewhere." I think I might like, feel like that if you were like, "We're going to Epcot." Right? But, mm. but you're not allowed to have any beer. I'd be like, why did I even fucking come? Well, I mean, and the <laughs> thing is, too, I would never be like, you can't drink. Yeah. I'd always just be but like, But you know, I'm like, we're adults drink. at Disney. You're, you're there right. to get trash. Right. But, like, you know, like, if I'm just hanging out with friends, I don't necessarily need to get drunk. Yeah, behind you. I like how this guy's trying to hit you through the wall. But yeah, we're doing good. That was our, And I got, I got a haircut this morning, which she I'm did. really happy with. I, like... I, I don't I don't like having long hair, which I don't think my hair was long by most people's standards, but yeah, which is mm, wrong. Yeah, I mean I get it because it can be like nerve wracking. Oh wait, did, can you go back really quick? Did you get the smithing stone? That's in no, no. Okay, I want to make sure you get all the goodies. Um, you never tried it, not even once. Yeah, some some people they they really want everybody to be in, into the same things that they're into. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes to the point where it's like detrimental to you hanging like, out with them. Like when I drink now, it's not really about drinking anymore. Like I want to mm -hmm. get like a pa a pitcher right and have like some of my friends and just be in a, like a corner of a bar while a live band plays and we're just talking. Mm -hmm. Just chilling. But you could, arguably, we could do that with a pitcher of Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not about the alcohol. It's about yeah, yeah, yeah. hanging out with my boys. I also feel like when we drink, 
like we don't usually get drunk. We'll have like one drink. Yeah. And then that will be it. Unless like, it's like an event, like probably like a wedding or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have I done? I don't know. What are you? Where are you going? <laughs> I almost never drink it anymore, and people find it to be, yeah, the most normal weird thing. And the thing is, too, like, even in my friend group, like, sometimes we like to go out to a bar and just chill for a couple hours. We actually have a couple people in our group that don't drink, and they just come, and they just chill and, like, have, you know, appetizers or, you know, soda instead of, like, alcohol, and it's like, nobody says anything about it, nobody makes a big deal about it, because it's not a big deal, really, you know, like... We just want to hang out, so... He was, he was anxious, and he thought it would be better for both of you if you guys were drinking, is what I'm guessing, yeah. Oh! Duh! Yeah, and that's the thing, too, is like... Because I feel like de depending ah! on... Uh-oh. <laughs> depending on, like, your social group that you grew up with, you might have almost, like that sense ingrained in you. Like, if you grew up with a friend group and they all like to drink together, you might think, like, oh, the way, the only way to, like, have a good time is if, like, everybody's drinking together, right? Yeah. But, like, if you didn't grow up with that, you would know that that's not necessarily true, right? So is that bull drink talisman, is that <laughs> different from the light dragon lightning? Um, I think that is for the Dragon Lightning. And yeah, Bob, you you can always do that. You can always just be like, yeah, I'm just a DD. It's fine. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, like, like you know, my best friend, like, he and I have been drinking together for years. He's on medication now where he can't drink, and I'm just Exactly. Not, like... I was going to say, I have some friends, too, that, like, can't drink anymore because they're on, uh, like, anxiety medication. So they, they can't imbibe anymore, even though they would like to, but they're not, like, you know... So I don't make a big deal about it if we go out. I mean, okay, I, like... Uh, His dad made him? Oh my god. I was like, my first drink, I was probably like six. A lot of daddy issues. But, you know, European family, they were like, here's a glass of wine with dinner. <laughs> but, I think the first time I drank... There's a lot of guys down here, so be ready. <laughs> um, I think uh, the first time, the first memory I have of a drink... I think we were at one of my relatives' house for Thanksgiving. Oh, God! <laughs> and you know how they... You get, like, a bunch of plastic... I'm dead. I'm so fucking probably. dead. You know how they have, like, a bunch of plastic party cups when you have, like, a big family gathering so you don't have to do a lot of dishes or I, anything? I hate this. And I picked up my mom's glass, and I thought it was mine. And it was, there was wine in it, and I think I, like, spit it out immediately, and everyone thought it was hilarious. That was my first time I remember, remember drinking something, and it was, like, it was so funny because I feel like if I had, like, intentionally stole it and sipped it, I, I would be like, oh, no, I like oh, this because it's, like, an adult drink. But since I did it on accident, I was like... Bleh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I don't need to drink. Like, those? A corner piece of rum chocolate. Well, oh, yeah. Then that's not even really, like... Rum like chocolate alcohol, is delicious. Really. Yeah. What the fuck? I d exactly. Don't need alcohol to have fun. Yes. For sure. Anyways, um, those knights that are down there are, like, easily my least favorite enemies in the game. Um, I, what I did is I would shoot one of them with a spell attack, you could use a bow and arrow, and then I got them to come up to me one at a time, so that I could fight them. Like, you got them to climb up? Yeah, like, they climb up this ladder, and then I just, like, I, I was on top of this building down here, so what I did is I would shoot one, and then they climb up the ladder and drop down, so then I was just fighting them one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean? I uh, yeah. But I don't- it, it's up to you. I you don't even have to fight them. I have trouble but... fighting them one-on-one, -on -one, let alone three-on-one. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I get you. I mean, you don't even have to fight them, really, but there are two dogs in yeah, the Yeah, that was so my problem gonna... right there.
How'd you shoot them? Um, so, like I said, I dropped down onto that house oh, in the middle. On that house. Yeah, and then I shot at them from there. And then they will do the same thing you just did, where they climb up the ladder and then they'll drop down onto the house where you are, yeah, but then yeah. you can fight them one on one. Crystal dart. Oh. Aren't you made of the bagel queen and he just left it on I mean, red. you oh. did say he didn't understand that movie. Right, so he was... Maybe he uh, just but, didn't get it. Why are they? And... So in my opinion, that means he's not smart enough. That one's just chilling. He didn't even notice. Here they come. Here we go. One at a time. One at a time. That's how I dealt with them. Oh, wait. So, excuse me? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> they need Ian's stamp of approval. <laughs> That's not a difficult thing. I was like, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I think this man has glitched. He doesn't know where you are. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, just keep throwing shit at him until he... <laughs> Get over here, you stupid. I, I, they, honestly, I think he glitched, because they did not do this with me, so... Aw. Oh, if you had something fire that you could throw at those barrels, though, they could explode. Got a clean kill box. Oh, look at him! Ronnie. He's stuck! He left you on red and doesn't deserve you. Yeah. Exactly. Let's read him his Miranda rights and put him in jail. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I hate this. Just come on. What? Why is that guy attacking the ladder? What's that? They, they don't know. They, they think get the fired. ladder's attacking him. They should get fired. They don't know what's going on. You guys have one job. I mean, maybe try standing somewhere else? Yeah, like... Nope. <laughs> They're both looking at you! Oh, this is so good. Uh-oh. Okay, now it's gonna- I'm gonna be angry for you if they both come up and manage to get out of where you're standing. Nope, N neither of them know what's going on. I would just start throwing shit at them. Wait. Okay, one is down there. He's just staring at you. Yo, oh, that did 200 damage? Dang. Hey, there you go, just take him out like this. Don't- Oh, I, I wanted to fall damage so bad. Maybe you can get it, yeah. I love that they're so confused. I wonder why they are doing like that for you, but they didn't do that for me. Like, this is they... a byproduct of the Limgrave education system. I mean, they did just do a patch. Maybe when they did the patch, for some reason, this these guys in particular got messed up. Mm. Do throwing knives bleed. scale with dexterity? Maybe, but they also cause bleed. Like, I wish I could buy like hundreds of them. Oh, because I was like, I don't think mine... Um, do that much damage. Like, I think mine do, like, 50. They took so long that you're thinking... <laughs> I am standing on the corner of the cabin where I murder and the limb grave knights are soggy and confused. This is my uh, limb grave cabin remix of so Uncle Tom's cool. Cabin. There All you right, go. There's one more, right? One more, that guy. And then there's just the two dogs, so. And then I I think oh damn. Oh, he's not even one of the big he's just a little minion. He's not even one of the big guys. But I think I think those two guys then though are the only ones like that in this cave, if I'm remembering correctly. Got him. Then you just got the two dogs in there. Kobe! Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm out. 
Yeah, yeah. That, that dog was like, friend, I was attacked. Hey, hey, chef. Yes, I I got a haircut today, so I cut I basically cut it all off. I got a pixie cut. Yeah. I went back to all the purple is gone now. They like chopped off that whole area of my hair. But like my hair was this short before, but I hadn't gotten it cut since the quarantine happened because well originally because they didn't they hairdressers weren't open obviously. And then they were like, don't go unless it's like an emergency. And I'm like, well, how could like being my hair, getting my hair done be an emergency? And then I finally like went today. So yeah, it's a, uh, I like it a lot. It's super nice. I was telling Ian when we were walking today with like the wind blowing, I was like, it's so nice. I don't have to worry about hair in my face. Cause it's like so short, it's impossible for it to be in my face. So it's back to how I like it. Back to the, the short hair look. But yeah, Ian and I were having photo shoot. Ian, we, we're doing photo shoot sessions at the museum today because Ian has his new phone. Yeah. That he really likes, which I think is like so okay. high def. It's like disturbing. I, I know I can go through to do a boss. Yeah. I don't remember what the boss is. I here. have enough to level up. I would, lo I would level up, yeah. Yeah, I hate having hair in my face. Hair in my face and hair touching the back of my neck are like two things that I really dislike. So I was just happy. I'm happy to have that. And I liked the girl who cut my hair a lot. So I probably am going to go yeah. back there to have her do it for me whenever I go. See, I don't mind having my hair in my face because I'm an edgy emo boy. But I do get annoyed when it, um, like, is blowing a lot. Like, mm. just everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about it, so... I might dye it again, though. I might, I might bleach it and maybe do, like, blue this time, or maybe green or yeah. something. I haven't really decided yet. For now, I'm just leaving it as... I did just buy a new bottle of purple dye. I already can't see. Yeah. I feel like I need my... the HP level up. Stuff is killing me too fast right now. Um. I know, my vision is so bad already. I don't need my hair in my face. No, I can just... Like... Making it worse for me. Um. And I did have someone buy my poetry book today. So that was cool. Yeah. I'm trying to get better at promoting it. I'm gonna try in the future mm -hmm. to make more promotional stuff for it. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna have to take time out of writing my novel to do that, but I feel like if I do that reliably, and if I get like a little bit of income coming from that, it'll be good. Yeah. Alright, so where the heck is that? So the boss is... is it Oh, is it that one? Or is it the one where the guys are standing in front of? I don't remember which hallway it's in. It might be that one. Or the other one, I mean. Because it does kind of look like there's a yellow glow in there. Nope. Never mind. I don't, I don't, I hope this isn't one of the Crystallians. Oh no, it's a troll. Okay, no problem. Oh, there he is. No problem. Yeah, it should be easy. I thought they said in the patch they made it that the Mimic took less HP, but it looks like it's taken more of your HP. Okay, you know what? Jesus Christ. Mr. Troll. S'mores, Pop-Tart, and Vanilla Ice Cream. Oh, that I love delicious. S'mores, Pop-Tarts. They're very good. Yeah, S'mores, Pop-Tarts, honestly, probably the most delicious Pop-Tart flavor. I mean, Wild Berry is Wild Berry is top tier. Close second. I, I, I'd be... It depends on the mood I'm in in the day, honestly. There you go. Did he give you a smithing stone? I don't think he gave me anything. Oh, oh, I think he gave you a club. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, the knights are in here? That guy's like, oh, yeah, you went down there, huh? He put his sword away. Yep, there you go. Well, you got a level, so is that's there... good. Pop-Tart oh, tier Oh, list. yeah, we that could do that. Sound, that does sound like a Monday stream thing. Yeah. Cause right. I, I figure we're gonna keep playing Scribble Knots for a while. I like... I had fun with that. Scribble is fun. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. I tired Ian out today. I took him on a little walk <laughs> to get dinner. Because there was more to this mine, wasn't there? There was more to the mine, yeah. Is there anything important in there? Uh, Probably just like a lot of smithing stones that you can get. First, before I do anything, let me go to the round table hold. I just want to see what I need to level up my weapon. Yeah. Um. Oh, can you... Um... But yeah, Ian and I, so we went and we were, we went to the art museum and then we were like, we're both kind of hungry, so we're going to walk and get some food nearby and we're going to go to this place called... It was like mid that, Midtown Tavern. Like tap? Yeah, Midtown Tap or something. But we walked there. Yeah, speaking of drinking. <laughs> but we walked there and then it was closed, so instead, they, we were really close to the Midtown location of this place called the Vortex, which is really... Famous in Atlanta. It's like uh, probably on any like tier list or travel guide you'd see the vortex mentioned. I I prefer the one with little five points. Uh to the midtown so one. Those were sixes. I need I need or fives. I need sixes. Okay, yeah. Um but the midtown location does have a comedy club in it. We we were the comedy starts later in the day, so we didn't get to see any, but um so yeah, so we went to the vortex, which is like a burger place for dinner instead, and I got the Havana Atlanta cu Cuban sandwich that they have. Yeah, yeah. And Ian got the Rebel something barbecue burger. Yeah, it was a burger with pulled pork and spicy teriyaki sauce on it. it was good. I will say, like, the Vortex is fine, but I think it's massively overrated. If you go... Did you go here and I don't think you've been in here yet. Like this very little edge right there. Yeah. I'll, well, actually, can I? Do I have the thing I need for here? Uh, I think you need Ricards. Oh, uh, okay, that's Ricards. I mean, you can try, but I think you need his to get in there. Because what do I do with Godfrey's soul? It's a good question. I mean, maybe you could take um, not Godfrey, Morgoth. You're in item craft. Is it in key items? Maybe. Um, I thought it, it the had its page? own one. Maybe it's on the first page. Yeah. I've got Natural Born and Star Surge and Renala. So if I can find one in the ones, you did the you did Kayla Tower, right? Or no? Swoop style. Swoop. Yeah. There it is. Swoop style. But what I'm saying is, if I take one of these to one of the the houses, now no matter what, I have I have a As god one, and I also have a normal one. True, yeah, yeah. So you should be able to, to duplicate it. Yeah. Regardless of where you go. And we know there's some here. Ish. There's, there should be a rest point called... I think it's here. The mausoleum. Because, yeah, we, we, we got one to stop, and then we were like, why can't I do it? Yeah. But yeah. Like I like a, like a couple days ago, Ronnie was like, "I think I'm gonna cut my hair," and I was like, "Oh yeah," and then she like immediately was like, "I made an appointment." Well, like it was just get, starting to get. I was growing it out because I knew I wanted to do like a style like this, and I didn't want the sides to be shaved when I went to get it cut. And then like we were going to see everything everywhere all at once, and then I saw that picture you took in the back of my head, and I was like. Man, it's just like getting out of control. Oh, it's so. already sitting down because I I did. Oh, that. that's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm impressed they got you in that fast. I, me too. I thought that I'd have to wait until like next week to get seen. Get seen. 
Yeah. So now I have two of those. Okay. Can I do anything with their members of natural born aside from? I don't level? know. I mean, you could probably get stuff from. The, I just want to see what the it lady. Is. I think my favorite part was when the dad was giving his speech. I think the dad was my favorite character about how like people were like when he's kind, they're like you're like naive or something, and he's like. No, like, my kindness is, like, strategic. It's, like, how I, like, survive. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think... I, so I really I can... like the dad a lot. He's cracking me up. These he... are pretty cool, but, like, obviously I can't use them. Yeah, I think you, your int would probably need to be really high to get that. My favorite part was the rock scene. <laughs> oh, yeah? The but, rock scene? And, like, I, I I'm can't... i get you. I, I never know if Ronnie... <laughs> Like, I've made Ronnie watch old movies, which I know she doesn't pay attention to them at all. <laughs> so, in a matter of life and death, or Stairway to Heaven, depending on what country you're in, um, there's a lot of scenes like that, mm -hmm. with the rock scene stuff. Yeah. And I that, it, that felt like a shout-out to mm. that movie to me. And also, like... It's really impressive that they got the characters' voices and tones down so well that when they just give you text, you were like reading you it. You know, you read it in their voice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, that's definitely true. Yeah. I like the rock scene too. I thought it was cute. I just, I just like, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, this should give a- oh, I thought it would give you more than that. They're not that tough. How much do you need to level This would be up? one level. You're an item craft. The finger- no! <laughs> no! Every time it came on, Ian was like, stop. Ian was like, why? Why are you showing me the hot dog finger <laughs> universe? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, literally, if, if the Roxy had not existed, um, Henry, what's his name? Shum? Shum Jr. I always want to call him Henry, whatever his name was on Glee. I, I always, uh, his name is Harry Shum, Shum Jr. Jr. But my mind always wants to make Shum and Jr. together, so I call him Schumer. But I'm like, I know that's not his name, but <laughs> I always want to, like... My mind wants to, to do that. Yeah. Um, but, um... But Rekakune was so funny. <laughs> I love, too, how, like, before they even introduced the that was a thing, the mom is telling a story about Ratatouille, but she calls it Rekakune. Yeah. And then, like, they go to that universe, and then I'm like, he's got a raccoon on his head? It's so good. Yeah, that's good. I'm. I have to say, I'm much more excited to see the Northman next week than oh, I am for that. Oh, yeah, we should get tickets for that. I so, mean, it's already yeah. out. It's not like we have to buy them ahead of time. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just mean. Like, I feel Commit like to it. I, I feel. Yeah, I feel like our problem is we got like. All right, we're back. We're back. But the Norseman, Northman particularly for me, because I love Robert Egger movies, mm. I'm all in on. And I'm surprised we're getting one so fast because we had The Witch, mm -hmm. and then we had Forever, and then we had The Lighthouse, and then we have The Northman. When she wanted the mom to let her go, and just the climbing the stairs scene. Yeah, that that was a really good scene. I saw somebody say that, like, they, like, went to see it, right? And their mom went to see it, too. They didn't, like, go together, and then they were, like, talking about the movie. And the, the daughter was like, I liked what the mom said to, like, the daughter at the end, and... Her mom was like, why would you like that? That's, like, sad. And the daughter was like, well, I guess that's just, like, what I would want you to say to me. Like, if I was trying to, like, leave, you know? 
And the mom was like, I think I have been too hard on you for your life. And the person was like, that's what this movie is all about. <laughs> yeah, the Northman looks really good. Oh, yeah. I really want the A24 pins, but I don't have a... Do they have like a pin collection? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They just released it. Interesting. And I want the hereditary one really bad. Hmm. But I have not, like, I don't feel like I have a good reason to buy them. Gotcha. Oh, are you, are you following where I was trying to tell you to go? I don't know, I'm just in this tunnel. Gotcha. Uh, I wasn't talking about that tunnel, I was talking about the above world area. So you want me to go... Like here. there, and then go over okay, it? Okay. Cause, just cause there's a, a tier there. Okay. I don't know if you've gotten it, and that way you can get an upgrade. But yeah, um... What I've, so Hamlet is my favorite Shakespeare. Oh my god, what if? It's three, marker three, I think, that you're trying what to What if we read Hamlet plays, like, like, on stream together? Like, we, like, did a stream where I was just like, reading through, like, an act of Hamlet or something. Okay. Like, you know, like, we did, like, I, a Shakespeare education stream. Yeah, I mean, we could do it. I just don't know how many people uh, would be interested in it. Oh, uh, look out. There's a there's a boss fight here. I don't know if... I don't think you fought this boss yet. Um, but... I've heard... And I love Hamlet, but I get why people don't like Hamlet. However... Ophelia? Oh. What? Because of Ophelia? Uh, what happens to her? I mean, yes, but most people just don't like that Hamlet doesn't take action. Mm. Um. Oh god. Um. But, uh. Stop! Ah! Um. I've heard that the Norseman is like, what if Hamlet actually just killed everyone he talked about killing? What if instead of thinking about killing everybody, Hamlet just fucking did it? <laughs> That's what the Norseman's about. <laughs> could be, it could be interesting. But yeah, Bob, have you seen the lighthouse and or the witch? I honestly, I do kind of want to try and watch the witch. Because the one time I tried to watch it, like I said, I, I fell I, I was uh, drinking wine and I fell asleep before like the story even really started because I think there's an item up there too. Um, I was sleepy and it was taking a long time for it to get into the story, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, all... all th there's a couple... Giant Crusher. But if you turn uh, this way, there's like a church up here. That's where the secret tier is. I don't know if you've gotten it yet. So. Um, no, I can see it from here. Yeah. Um, but I would. I think you would like it comes at night. Okay. I think you would like it follows. I think that would be too scary. It follows is not a movie that's scary while the movie's on. But then you start to, like... Zach, you start to notice people, like, walking behind you, right? I feel like I'd be like... What? Because isn't It Follows about the, like, magical STD? Yeah. And then the girl's, like, she can't tell if something is, like, an evil thing walking towards her, or... Yes. But, but like, what more so gets me about it... Um... It's not a movie Golden Order Seal. Oh, I thought that- I'm sorry, I thought there was a secret tier here. Um, but like, what- what gets you about the movie is like, during the movie, like, there's like one real jump scare, I think. Mm hmm Um... <laughs> the red tent. Oh, the- the red tent thing that we were in? Yeah. I don't remember what I, that RPG yeah, is either. Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> I just remember standing in the middle of it and being like, you should take a picture of us. I remember, like, I was about to walk away and Rodney was like, let's take a picture here. And I was like, all right. I don't know. I thought it would look pretty. Um, but, but uh, because, yeah, in the movie, you don't really know what the monster is ever. So, like, you'll be sitting in your apartment alone and you'll be like, well, that's out. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it literally does, like, fuck people to death, so. It was the... 
it was nothing like from the horror movie that we watched last night. That movie was last pretty good. We finished Lovecraft Country, and then I thought after we finished Lovecraft Country, we'd be like, oh, now we can catch up on some other shows that we've been wanting to watch Well, together. next no. is probably gonna be, <laughs> uh... Moon Knight? Heartstopper and Moon Knight. Oh, okay. But... Going out and doing things in state, yeah, that's what we try to... We, we're trying to bring back in that balance, because obviously during the pandemic we got really used to just like hanging out at home all the time yeah so we like we like doing things not anything is too this crazy explored or is this a desert that you can't get there i think it's just like cliffside okay, okay. um um but yeah like we powered through lovecraft country because we want to watch heartstopper because everyone's told us about it so that's next and we got uh, two episodes of moon Knight to catch up on i think so and we there's a movie i've been wanting to watch called the night house which was not see I prefer movies to TV shows but it depends. That's fair, Bob. I I mean, honestly, for me it depends what I'm in the mood for. I feel like most of the time I like movies more. Hard stuff. Maybe tonight. Maybe yeah. like one episode. How long are the episodes? Like they're probably hour long, right? Probably like forty five minutes, probably if it's like standard Netflix. Well, um. Okay, so we did this. Oh, they're only 30 minutes long? Yeah. Oh, dang. That that honestly makes it more palatable for me. Like, that was my problem with Moon Korean show. Oh, Scarlet Heart Rio? It's like, it just was, just, the episodes just kept going on. Mm. Uh, again, because it was so cheesy. Two and height. Oh, it's only eight episodes. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. But like, okay. Yeah, we'll probably start that tonight. So, I don't know what you want to do, but if... The area that you were at where you fought the ogre things, there's like ruins over to the left. If you want to go over there and explore, uh, I think there's a cave up here somewhere. What I want to do is know where they get Smithing Stone Sixes. I don't know exactly where Like, is this a dead end? Can I go over here? I, th I think that's a dead end. I don't think you can go there. We didn't find the cave up here. Well, there is here. That's a crypt, though. I don't think there will be smithing stones there. I don't see any caves on the map, but I haven't been up there, so I don't know where you could go. Um, and then, what's going on? This is a dead end, right? Yep. That's also a dead end. Um. I mean, let's explore up here. I guess. Um. But yeah. Only 30 minutes. Movies don't have enough time to develop story and characters, while the opposite is the case for TV shows. Right, right. Definitely, I definitely feel that, and I definitely think a lot of movies struggle because characters are the most important part of the story, but sometimes in movies they sacrifice characters for, like, just exciting sequences yeah, rather yeah. than like doing characterization. That's what I was gonna say is like I so, I feel like the problem with movies and this is also a problem with some TV shows. Look at all the blood stains. This dude fucking sucks. He's claimed many lives. Um, that, that's fair, Harmony. I I think it looks really interesting. I like uh Viking like history and lore a lot. So I mean I'm interested into in it. So yeah, I mean it's it's Hamlet. It's and if you don't like Shakespeare, you're probably not going to want to watch it. I like Alexander Skarsgård. Oh, I love Skarsgård. He's hot And as fuck. Nicole Kidman, too, so... I'm down for it. Also, Ian was saying the other day how he... Oh! Okay, so... Ah! <laughs> see? Did um did you also see this trailer Harmony or does anybody Her else men. see this? Yes, Harmony I'm... asked me if I saw it. Oh okay, yeah I was like, I don't like it looks spooky and it looks like they got the vibe right for like how you can feel, like women can feel in those situations. But I was just like, wait until the public gets a hold of this trailer, they're gonna freaking lose it. <laughs> like the same the case for TV shows, but not nearly as often. Okay, yeah. And that's that's definitely true, too. Like, if TV shows are, like... You do so much goddamn damage. The Our theater also laughed when the title came out. Yeah, screen, yeah. So... 
but like I think stories need to be as long as they need to be to be told, right? And yeah. we don't do that enough. I jumped into it. Well, we were saying how we like the trend that's happening that we are seeing. It did actually look it actually looked legitimately scary. Like like I laughed when I saw the title because I just thought it was kind of funny, but it, like the movie actually looked like it would freak me out like a lot. Um but we were saying how we like the trend of like what they're doing with the Disney shows where it's like the there's not a set time for each episode. Oh, he's coming, I'm, he's coming back. I forgot. But they make each episode as long as it needs to be to tell the story that they're telling in the episode, you know? Yeah, and also, um, um, what the fuck is the, the Jordan Peele movie coming out called? Nope. Is it, that's what it's I called. Think it's, nope. I think it's called Because nope. <laughs> Get Out, I think, is overrated. What's the other one? Us. Us. Us? Much better. Uh, I like us. Not fully coherent, like... It, it like it. For the record, I will just also say I I liked Get Out, uh, it, where Ian did not. So it's not that I don't like Get Out. I just preference. think the tonal it's tonally incorrect. Okay. Like it starts out and it's like a thriller psychological, and then the end is just like it becomes like a like a hack and slash. Oh. And I don't think they ever established that tone early in the movie. So the second half of the movie feels like a completely different movie from the first half. It's almost like two acts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like. Which, like, it, that you could argue that was kind of like Parasite did, too. Yeah, but, but like, that moment with Parasite where it focuses on the door shaking mm -hmm. is like a palate cleanser. This, this does not happen. If, or Get out. Get out. Is my main problem. Um, I like us, but I don't... Oh, if you could just see these two guys silhouetted on yeah, top of the I mean, right, that guy right there, yeah, too. Yeah, that guy's a problem. Um, but us... It's better, but I think it's trying to do the thing- oh. Uh oh. Please. You're in undead territory. Uh, you know, I think it might be worthwhile for me to invest, uh, cause it seems like the undead areas are getting harder and more frequent in some of the spells that, like, permanently kill them. So yeah. I don't have to kill- like, hit them when they're on the ground. Us? Yeah, like, like, it's not that it's bad, and like, I am a fan of movies that do not explain everything to you. But they left just a little something missing to really make it coherent. Oh, really make it coherent, right? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so Nope looks really good to me, but I think Peel might actually just be a master of trailers. His trailers are always and so then, good. And then the movies are good too, but not the best. Mm. Like, what they could be, you know? Not what you're expecting from the trailer. Like, like they're just... It's kind of like when you watch, like, a, like a 5 out of 5 Twilight Zone episode, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then you watch, like, a 1 out of 5 Twilight Zone episode, and you're like, I know what this could have been. I mean, and obviously Twilight Zone is a big inspiration for him, mm -hmm. and he's, like, part of the modern day yeah. uh, Twilight Zone. Which, I don't... Did we finish that? Too? We I watched the first season. I don't know if there was a second season. I don't know if we ever watched all the new Twilight Zones. Because I really like the one that's a traveler. Yeah, yeah, with Steven Yeun. Yeah. I think he's in multiple episodes, but that he was like a main guy in that one. Where... But that's kind of what I want to try and do, is like a project, is write audio drama Twilight Zone kind of stories. Mm. That would be like 20 minutes long that we can make like a podcast of. Yeah. Not super interested. Still don't know what it's about. But Steven Yeun is in it. Exactly, yeah. I and, love Steven and Yeun. And what? In Nope. Oh, okay. Nope, Nope is the name of the movie. He's he's yeah. in it. I think he's like a... He looks like he's... Like, running an auction or something? I don't know. <laughs> I like that's kind of what he looks like. Um, also... Who's the lady... Who's the horse seller in Nope? Um, shoot, and I said her name to you, too, in the trailer. Yeah, like a bull- like something- something to do with the, the rodeo, maybe? Is what he is? Um, Kiki Palmer? Is that her? I think that's her name. Every time I see that trailer, I'm like, I could go for some whiskey. Oh, yeah, because she's drinking whiskey and yeah. dancing. So I think out of movies I've seen recently, 
Um, I see a, a summon thing there, so just I don't know what's up here, but just look out. <laughs> um, uh, Drive My Car is probably my favorite movie I've seen this year so far. Hands down, like, nothing comes close. Mm. Um, then... Did we see... What was the movie with the Heim sisters? Licorice Pizza? Licorice Pizza. Was that this year? Or was that last year? Time's all blurred was, together. I think that was this year. Um, but anyways, that's probably a second... Close one. Like, second for me. I didn't like that one. And then... Um... Maybe... Uh... Everything Everywhere everything All, all at, at Once. So far, yeah. I think Everything Everywhere All at Once might be my favorite so far. But I do... Okay, yeah. This year we saw Licorice Pizza. Okay. Yeah. Um... I think I think it was early this year. It was like January or February. Why, why was I allowed to summon here? I don't know. Um... Oh, is this a minor Ur-Tree? There might be an Ur-Tree avatar around here. Oh, they oh! are dropping from the sky! <laughs> Context clues, baby. Oh, let me out of here! Uh, Torrent! <laughs> Torrent's on his left sliver of health. <laughs> um... And then everything everywhere all at once, unless I'm forgetting something. I honestly, I feel like I have to go... Oh, it came out end of last year. Maybe, so maybe January. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh wait, like... you know what? The Batman definitely overrides Batman. everything everywhere all at once. And Batman is definitely one of my so favorites. Everything everywhere all at once is probably four. Although with this upcoming week, this next week, we're gonna go see. We already have our tickets for Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. I'm oh, really what the fuck? Looking forward to that. This is fun. I forgot about Batman. Did you like Batman Harmony? Did you go see it? It's so damn I, I good. liked it. I liked it. It was very good. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah they, these guys hit hard. And now there's two of them. Oh, no. Look out for the lasers. Just roll. Just roll. <laughs> and the thing is, I think their health is still connected. It's connected. But you just have two of them, so... Well, that answers the question of why you can summon here. Okay, here comes lasers. Okay. Thought it was okay. Rob Pat did a good job, yeah. And, um, Zoe Kravitz is Catwoman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, thought they, I thought the whole cast was amazing. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. That's like a four out of five movie. It like three. scratched the itch for both a mystery, like th detective thriller, and like a superhero movie at the same time. You know, it's it just I enjoyed it. But oh, thank oh, you for thank the you host, for the awkward host. social. Gizmo uh, blesses you with her laser eyes <laughs> <laughs> for the host. Um. Yeah, I'd have to look up a, a list. The Hand Demon in the Forest Season 1 of Demon Slayer. Yeah, kinda. Kinda does look like that. Hey, what's up? How's your Saturday going? Ian and I had a nice uh, museum date today. We went we to did. the High Museum of Art here in Atlanta. We had a, had a nice little, little time there. Yeah, we are still in the Elden Ring. Still grinding. Hanging with your kids, having a cozy day. Oh, yes. Cozy days. That's gonna be tomorrow for us. We don't have any plans except for I have to go grocery shopping. But other than that, nothing. Um, but yeah, I'd have to look at a list of... Stop. What came out this year to make, like, my so far top five list of things that I've yeah. seen. Yeah. Um... Because really, time is kind of all blurring together. Crazy busy soccer day. I remember those days. <laughs> I did. You played soccer in high school too, right? Yep. Yeah. We both. We both were in soccer. But, I mean, I love soccer. 
Humble Ta brag. Time is very much blurring together. Humble brag? I was like, humble brag. I'm just kind of generally athletic. Oh, okay. I was in like all the sports. He, Ian was like, I was in all sports. I, I feel like it has to be, I also like, I feel like since the pandemic started, I used to be so good at being like, okay, like this is coming up this month. I gotta get ready for it. Like this is happening. But ever since, like trying to get back to that, I'm just like so bad at preparing for upcoming things. I'm like, I know something is coming, but I like don't prepare for it the way that I used to. So. Always the soccer kids were the coolest. That's right. I was the were weird the soccer and musical theater kid. Didn't want your kids to sign up for football. No, makes no! Sense. Motherfucker! That, that makes sense that you prefer soccer. I mean, let's just be honest. In my opinion, soccer is a superior sport to football anyway. Uh, it's like I don't... soccer, hockey, football in that order. Okay, so Ian does agree with me. I was going to say, I don't know if Ian would agree with me. Oh, I I played field hockey as well. I never played lacrosse, but it looked super fun. I don't think I had the right type. I mean, of I love football. It's just my third favorite sport. <laughs> I I don't like football. But In fact, I was just fiscally irresponsible. He was. And there's this girl back home who's been taking retro Buffalo Bills gear and cutting it up and making like quilt Sweat joggers. Sweatpants? Like yeah. like they're like. So, like, you know, that's all fabric-y, but it says, like, bills and stuff across your thigh. But they're, like, $100 each, and I bought one. He made... He... 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 And I... You know, treat yourself? That's what you did. <laughs> but, like, you know, okay, $100 is a lot for sweatpants. But she also... Oh, come on. She also hand-makes them, and, like, it's all her time. And yeah. Stuff. It, it is cool to get stuff like that and know it's a little more personal. It's like the than only just, thing like, I'm ever good. Like I'm the only one who's ever gonna have a pair. Like exactly, that. and because then you know... because she makes them all from like retro bills stuff you find in like shops in Buffalo. And just also knowing you like supported a local artist rather than going to like you know Amazon or something. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that. Because let's be real, sometimes they do have good deals. But That's you know, where I got my overalls nice. from. Yeah. No, actually, I didn't. I lied. I got my overalls from Fashion Nova. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Is it just another online clothing website? Yeah. Luna, are you just chilling over here? Alright, I gotta get as much damage as I can in while you're still alive. Alright, you got it. You got it this time. They probably give you enough runes that you'll be able to level up too. If they would just stop one-hitting my horse, I'd be fine. Uh-oh. I think your mimic is done. Yep. So, look out. Just you. I can't. They're coming. It's magic time. Get ready. Oh no! No! <laughs> no yeah. That's not fair. I definitely stuck on a rock. every other time in fucking human history I would've clipped through that. Defeated by a rock. Alright, lasers, lasers. Like I said, I, I need to get that move for myself. I wonder if you have to like have their weapon get that move. And I can see the game doing that because I definitely don't have enough strength to use it. Okay. Lasers. This is definitely a battle about patience. Yeah. Because you gotta heal both of them. You gotta bait them into doing that. And then you... Yeah. Hit the other one while... Oh, no! They're is... so strong. Well, it's not even the strength. It's that when they hit you, Torrent just stops moving, which makes sense. But I don't know any other fights where that happens. I don't know. He doesn't get, like, staggered. He just stands there. You might need a tankier summon, too. Yeah. Like, somebody that could just at least be alive long enough to, like, pull their attention, you know? Yeah. Did 
I do have... I don't know. You were using the Skelly Boys before, right? Because they're, they're, they're come back, though. Hopefully, yeah. As long as they don't get double smashed. Yeah. There must be another walking mausoleum around here. Where am I? Uh, you gotta go across the bridge. There we go. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, I mean, like... We've got five months until football season, six months until hockey season. I'm ready. Yeah? Also, these guys are like really high level. Like, they're not like obviously gonna tank <laughs> an Ur tree. Right. But maybe they'll, like, as long as they don't get hit when they're down. Don't forget to pick up your rounds. I literally thought I had. That's why, that's why I reminded you. Fucking game. You got stuck on the tree, did you see that? Yeah. Okay, well. That's like, the attack that's a problem for them. Yeah. They take so long to come back, too. I don't know, I love- I- I love my summon of Kristoff. And I haven't fully leveled up, too, except for, um... Like, I- I- Goodbye. You live! I've never seen them do that leaping attack until now. Yeah. Which is what really pisses me off about these fights. Is sometimes like I'm like, you did not have that attack. You've never done that. Well, I think I maybe they like change their move sets as they get into harder areas too. No, I mean like the last like 13 times I fought them. Oh, I've never seen these two I do that. See what you're and then he jumped, and I was like. And there's no way to separate them is the problem. Yeah, because they both just follow you. enough to level up. Though. Yeah. Good, but... I just, I don't know what else to do in this fight. Hmm. Try summoning a, another person. I could. So, like, what is this? Interesting. Yeah. Though, so this tier right here, these are like the the higher tier ones, mm. you know. Um. um. What the heck? Sounds like one of those snake things. There is a snake there. But like where like if I just run through here, I guess I could just run through the building for now. Yeah, you can just run to a building. The problem with this fight, I think, is like I'm like two weapon levels away from dealing enough damage to kill them fast. Mm. Oh my god, I clicked triangle. Lil Jank in the controls got me nuts. Let me get down there. I thought I heard the stomp, but I was yeah. like, oh no. This is an interesting area. You really gotta figure out how to get to different locations. Uh, what? 
Yeah. That he, that's a weird looking dog. Is that a dog? Oh, it's an Elden Uric. Oh no, it's a demi human. We got rid of the weird one. Ask us anything, a wild animal encounter you'd like to have, and one you would hate to have. I, you know what? I've always wanted to meet an elephant, but I want to I meet- I rode an elephant. I want to meet an elephant, but I, 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 I love it. I would love to hang out with an elephant, like feed it some food. Maybe we could do like some painting together or something. I don't know, just have a whole day with an elephant. That's what I would love to have happen. Um. What I would hate to encounter. I I feel like <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'd like be give them a little paintbrush so they could hold it in their trunk. They could like paint with it, I don't know. Yeah, I mean I, I rode on an elephant at the fair. Yeah. I think I would hate to I think I would hate in the wild, if it was nighttime, to encounter a pack of hyenas. I think that would probably be so, one of the more horrifying things I could encounter in nighttime. That was one of my initial thoughts too. Oh, this looks like hell. Hmm. Just because of the laughing sound they make, I, it would it freak um, me out. I feel like I was in annihilation. Uh, but the uh, even worse for me, because like a hyena is big enough that I feel like, you know, I know they hunt in packs. So you probably fucked, but you could like fight back, right? Mm. At least a little bit. I'm more worried about like ticks. Okay. Like I would not want to be like like in like Brazil where they have like the huge ticks and stuff. Or or like, a, or, like a big leech or something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that'd be gross. An animal? Uh, I guess that is an animal. I think like it would just I if I could do it safely. I would want I'd like to meet a baby bear <laughs> that's not gonna kill me, and I'd hate to encounter. Oh, see, oh love, snakes are I so snakes. cute. Um, but uh, don't worry, Harmony. I, if we're with you, we'll take care of the snake. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but uh, an animal I've always really wanted to see. Like we could do it safely. Is like a um, like an angler fish. Like if I could go that deep down in like a safe. You want to encounter an angler? Yeah, I want to see the weird They're shit at the creepy. bottom of the ocean. They're creepy. I already know about the weird stuff that lives up here. I definitely agree with the baby bear because like look at have you ever seen the picture of their little ears? They're so cute. I just want to like give them little ear scratches. So I was allowed to summon my mimic for some reason and deadliest snake attacks video. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably make oh. you not want to see snakes. <gasps> it's a, it's her. Now you gotta summon. Now you gotta summon. Uh, what the other jelly? Will we turn fourteen? How old are you? How, how do I get rid of him? Uh, I think you just hit the button to summon again. Or not? Maybe I have to put his summon back on. Yeah, maybe. A video of Bobcat attack on this elderly couple? Oh no. Oh no. I bet that didn't end well. The other thing that gets me... I don't know, like, I think they would be cool to see up close, right? Is like apes and chimpanzees. Because they're like our closest relatives, right? That mm -hmm. aren't Neanderthals or, um, stuff. Um, but now... Oh, do you gotta summon her outside? Or because you already summoned one? Maybe because you already summoned one, you can't uh, summon... There's no side of grace around here? I mean, it looks like there's one right there. Um... But, uh... Bobcat and elderly couple. Um... I feel like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I have this concept in my mind 
Because I think most animals inspire them we give them credit for. Mm. Now, a lot of people, I think that leads them to becoming like vegetarian or whatever, which is fine, but I just don't agree with stuff like that. But, like, they're smart, and I understand that they're smart. Um, but, you know, because they're, like, related to us, I feel like they might have this thought where they're, like, we're, be we're being friendly with you, but you just wait till it's our time on this fucking planet, <laughs> you bitch. Okay. So, like, how the heck did I get over there? I don't know. Can you open the map so I can see? Okay, it what number is it? It's... Two. I think I have to go this way. I think, did you go around? Yeah. Um, but so like, you know, like I feel like a, like uh, they could they would be hanging out with you and they'd be like, wait till or, we're... Wait, can you open the map? Yeah. Did you start here and go across here? Yeah. Um, but I feel like they'd be like, wait till you're alone. And they'd just like jump up and choke you out from behind. Maybe. I don't know. I, I like animals. I don't particularly also care about meeting them. Like, <laughs> they're just there. <laughs> Whatever they're doing. Like, if you ask me what kind of animal I want to see on a day-to-day -day basis, every single time I'm gonna be like, I want to see a fucking husky. I want to pet him. I thought you were gonna say fox. Also a fox, but foxes are conniving. Like, they're cute and they'll be friends with you, but then they'll also just eat you if you annoy them. But like, I love huskies. They're so cute. Well, I mean, if we ever have the space for it, we could get a husky. But I don't know. Oh, know. yeah. Yeah. I'm actually reading Sapiens right now. And like, it's kind of... Actually, okay, I've got two swords on this. Like, they talk a lot about how insane it is that humans are the dominant species on Earth, and it's really- I was talking to Ronnie about this earlier. Because it's not because we're strong or anything. It's because we're, um... Smart. Yeah, and it's our ability to talk in hypotheticals. Um... Ow. Ow! Um... Like, this is one of the biggest pet peeves of mine in this game, is horses. Um... Yeah, Legend of Myth thinks told about in schools, but no one ever sees aside from documentaries, definitely. Or if you go to, like, a zoo. Sometimes. Yeah. But now um, all the creatures are, like, in there. There's, like, so many. But, when you, when, you know, Darwin... We say discovery, but that's not the right word. He's guy who kind of theorized family, like, familial relationships among animals. And his notebook with the original, like, little drawing of the, like, his idea of the Tree of Life on it was at Cambridge for years and years and years. And it, um, disappeared. Like, they lost it for, like, five years. And this year, right around Easter, they got a, uh, it was just, like, in the mail on front of their table was like a bag and in it was Darwin's notebook that had been stolen from Cambridge and it was like in an immaculate condition and it just said like Happy Easter. Oh wow. And so they got it back this year. Yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that's the thing about going to the zoo, right? Is you go and then it's like, oh, like this animal's like sleeping. And then you, like, can't see it, and you're like, No, I came here only to see the pandas. Now I can't see him. Why? Yeah, I mean, like, I just like foxes, because they're weird and interesting and find, like, cat dogs. They also just, like, scream at each other. Just like me. Yeah? Do you just scream? Yep. 
There you go. I think you have to go down and around. You can have a fox in The Sims 4? Oh, I didn't know that! I was actually thinking that would be a good Monday stream at some point if we ever just need a game to play. The Sims? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Ronnie would get real interested in trying to make them as accurate as possible to us. I do, I mean, I do like the character creation of The Sims. I definitely have the pets expansion. I, I literally might have just not looked at it because I just went straight to making cats. Like, I don't think I even looked at, like, the dogs or anything. But I should look and I should see if, like, what other, like, exotic pets there are. Like, can I have a pet bear or something? Horses and farm animals? Ooh, we could have a whole oh farm. Oh my god. We could have a virtual farm. Fucking die. You Dracula looking motherfucker. Go back to Vlad, you piece of shit. I can insult them because they're my people. Are they? Yeah, Vlad and all of them. Vlad? Yeah, those are my ancestors. <laughs> I don't know if... Are you proud of that? <laughs> you got a problem with Austro-Hungarians? Yeah, all I brought right, you your sister. Go. I'll fight to the death. You just need to know sit here. Ooh! I wonder... Fancy spin! What? <laughs> I wonder if that it was like... If there's a seal down there and you can only get there if you like... Hey! <laughs> hey! Trying to see. I think it's this one. Fancy spin. <laughs> Look at how fancy you are. All right, what's done here? No if enemy. you're lying to me, I'll come back and disparage you so hard. Steven today at work. Okay, this is the rich kid. Whoa. He was upset because he had this allergic reaction, so he had a r small rash on his face that's gonna go away in a couple days. I mean, yeah, I was like that—that's understandable because, like, you know, when you're a teenager, like your appearance is very important to you, even if you just have like something very small that would only last for couple days, a yeah. couple days, and then you're still like. This is the end of the world. Also, like, your hormones going all crazy, so you're, like, literally, it feels like the end of the world to you. <laughs> yeah. what is it? I think it's a talisman, not a weapon. Oh. It probably has something to do with magic. Okay. 